team. So, out and about for the first time in quite some time on Rosie the Rally. Um, and after a conversation I was having with my mate Ray from Moto NZ, uh, it got me thinking about the 250 Rally, the 300 Rally, and whether the 250 platform is still worth getting now that they're getting a lot cheaper and those 300s are actually getting a lot easier to get your hands on. So I thought I'd quickly go over my thoughts and share it with the world and if you have your own thoughts jump in in the comments let me know and tell me if I'm dreaming or a complete lunatic or whatever. So to start off with the 300 L and Rally all have a lot of nice to have features over the 250L platform. So you've got an extra little bit of power thanks to that extra 27-ish cc's of capacity. You've also got a uh, nicer dash with more information on it. You've got revised gearing, which is meant to be better off-road. And overall, it's lighter and kind of looks better depending on which one you go for. But at the end of the day, they're nice to have features. And the CRF 300 platform suffers from the same basic problem that the 250 platform had. And that is really, really weak suspension. So to my mind... The 250 platform actually is still worth getting your hands on if you don't mind that slightly older design that's slightly heavier and less slightly less performance so in the scheme of things we're still talking sub 300 cc bikes here so if you want performance you're looking in the wrong area anyway um, but i still think the 250s are worth it especially if you are on a tight budget um, and you want to have a bit of money to invest in the bike and help make it work better for you so on top of those nice to have features, the 300 is going to have a factory warranty, which yes, very nice and handy, though if you start modifying the bike to within an inch of its life, you might run into warranty issues there anyway. Um, but the 250s, being cheaper, leave you with that extra money in your back pocket to spend on upgrades. So the number one upgrade, I think, if you're looking at the CRF 250L, 300L or whatever, you got to do the suspension. Um, it doesn't matter if you're an outright beginner or someone who's got a bit of experience you are going to find that that suspension really limits you off-road and on-road at times too it's really spongy if you're a bit porky like I am uh, it'll be very wallowy and you're just going to struggle with it so for me that $1,500 I spent at Moto SR and Taupo was the best money I spent on this bike closely followed by the B&B bash plate which has taken an absolute beating and so far it has done a tremendous job so as an example of how much money you can potentially save going for the 250 platform over the 300s, here in New Zealand uh, we've been looking at 250 rallies going for around $8,000 with about 10,000 kilometres on the clock at dealerships. Buying privately you can probably get a better deal than that. The 300 rally for instance goes for around $11,000, I'll chuck a title card with the actual New Zealand price there, um, but it's a decent chunk of money that you can spend on kit, upgrading the suspension, buying luggage, crash protection, whatever your heart desires. Uh, still a good amount of money and for the performance gains of the 300, I think the 250s are still well worth consideration. At the end of the day, things can go exactly the same places that a 300L can. 300L just has those nicer mod cons. So on the flip side, why would you want a 300L over the 250? Well, you've got that extra bit of fuel in the 300 Rally. Uh, the 300L looks a hell of a lot better than the 250L though if you're clever enough you can probably chuck that new headlight onto the older bikes and you do have that extra little bit of power which I know in the past especially when I've been riding on the highway um, I've definitely wanted that little bit more power just a smidge um, and from what I hear the 300L and Rally provide that but when it comes to learning to ride off-road there's nothing wrong with the 250 platform Money you save, you can put into mods, you can whack some good tyres on there, sort the suspension out, uh, and you'll still have a decent bike that'll go exactly where the 300Ls will. So, what am I trying to say here? Well, I guess as a very biased 250 rally owner, um, and one that's actually not really planning to sell his 250 anytime soon because it just does the job absolutely fine, I'm saying that the CRF 250 platform is still relevant in today's market, especially if you're trying to save that extra bit of money or you are on a tighter budget. So get out there, crack on, whatever you're riding, have fun on it, stay rubber side down, and I will see you in the next video. Oh! <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I'm alright. Alright.